Hello friend, in this video I will discuss about after end of this session what we will build. We will build one complete multi-authentication system with using Laravel Breeze package. I have already shared how to create that multi-authentication system with JRE's team. Lot of students ask me it's little bit complicated. For the reasons here I have created this section how to create a multi-authentication system in very easy way with using Laravel Breeze package. We will develop three authentication. One will be for the user, another will be for the admin and also another will be for the seller. So if you want to create that multi-vendor any project, so this section will help you a lot. How much easily we will do it step by step, I will show you everything with the live example. Let's take a look after end of this session what you will build. First of all, we will install one of the fresh Laravel project, then we will install Laravel authentication breeze package. Okay, after that here you can see there is a locking and the register. So if you are locking, Right now, uh, that is our locking. I have already created on the user as a user at the red gmail.com. If you put any appropriate and email address, password, click as a locking. So Breeze automatically will be get this validation. Okay, you can see it's also displayed that validation message. I don't have any user like this, but I have already created on the user as a user at the red gmail.com password as a udemy12345. Now, if you click as a login. Now you can see you are successfully logged in and that is our user and from here if you want to log out you are able to successfully log out and it should be return redirect to the logging page okay how can do that work i will show you and also from here if you want to register that means if you go to that our home page and from the home page if you go to the register if you want to create on the new one i name, name it as a user okay user one and i put that email address that will be the user one at the rate okay at the rate gmail.com this type of one of the email address and I put the password as a udemy12345 and also the confirm password udemy12345. Okay, now if you click as a register, now you can see it's now successfully created new user as a user1. Okay, that means our locking and register is totally fine. Now I want to do, uh, I have created another authentication for the admin like if you want to access that admin logging only you have to do that will be the admin slash logging okay when you click it how can load some of the template and here you can see i have already loaded one of the template for this so that is our admin easy learning that means our admin logging page okay i have already loaded one of the logging form how can add some of the custom logging form i will show you that things with the live example so if you add that inappropriate email address password click as a login now that should be displayed on the message you can see it's now displayed on the custom message as an invalid email or password also a lot of students ask me about it how to display some of the custom message uh, for the reasons here i also show you how can do that work but if you put that appropriate um, email i have already created on the email if you go to our database you can see there is a three table one is the admin table or the seller table and the user table so for the admin i have created one of the user as the admin at the red gmail.com I just simply add that as an admin user at the rate gmail.com and password I use as a you give me one two three four five. Now if you log in, now you can see you are successfully logged in. It's also display as a admin logging successful and display the admin username which user is logging this username and also the admin email address is visible. Okay. Uh, you can see there is one of the template I simply loaded. So if you understand it, how to load some of the template, you can add whatever the template you want. Okay. And then if you click as a logout, then that will be redacted to our admin logging page, not the direct logging page. Okay. So that is our admin logging page is now successfully redacted and also is display message as admin logout successfully. Okay, friend. How can do that work? I will show you every step with the live example. If you want to create on the new user for the admin, click as a create new account. Now I want to name it as the admin, okay, admin one. And I name one of the admin, sorry, that will be the admin one at the rate gmail, gmail.com. This type of the email, I put the password udemy12345, udemy12345. Okay, now if you click as a sign up, now you can see it's now show as an admin created successfully. Okay, it's now successfully created this admin. Now if you want to log in with this one as an admin one at the rate gmail.com, right? If you go to our database, now browse it. Now that should be another one as an admin one, our username, and then there is an admin one at the rate gmail.com. So now that is admin one at the rate gmail.com. I put that password as a udemy12345. 
Now click as a login. Now that should be successfully redacted to our admin dashboard, right? So you can see our new user is successfully created and also there is a display as an admin login successfully, our name as admin one, great. And now I want to do, I want to log in with our another one, like I just simply log out, say so admin log out successful. Now I want to access that our sailor account. Sailor will be as a sailor, sailor logging. If you click as enter, now you can see it's now display as a sailor logging. So I'm actually using the same template. So if you want to load the different template for the sailor, you will be able to do that work. Okay. Now there is a sailor logging here. If you put that inappropriate email address, password, click as a logging. Now that should be displayed as an email invalid email or password for the sailor. Now, if you want to log in with the sailor, I have already created another user. If you go to that sailor for the sailor, like as a um, sailor, okay, sailor at gmail.com. I want to do the logging with this. And then a password I have used all the time as you do me one two three four five. Now if you log in, now you can see it's now successfully redacted to the sailor dashboard, and that is also display as a sailor logging successful and logging sailor name is Kazi Sailor, and logging sailor email address as a sailor at gmail.com. Okay, how can do that work? I show you, and also if you click as a logout, then that will be returned redirect to the sailor logging page. Okay, that is a sailor logging and also without logging if you want to access our sailor dashboard if you click as you enter now you can see you are not able to um, access our sailor dashboard it should be displayed as a please logging fast okay if you want to access that dashboard that means this user have to be logging fast and also you can see it's now display on the custom message as a please logging fast now if you want to create on the new sailor you click as a create new account now you can see there is a sailor register form and here i name it as a sailor sailor one and now i want to create new one as a sailor sailor one at the rate gmail.com and i put the password you do me one two three four five and you do me one two three four five okay now if you click as a sign up now that should be display another message. Yes, you can see it's now display as a sailor created successfully. So now if you want to go to our database, now that should be another one as a sailor one. Okay, now I want to do logging with this sailor one. I copy it, now go to that email and then password as you do me, one, two, three, four, five. And now if you click as a login, now that should be returned redirect to the sailor dashboard. You can see it's now successfully returned directly to the sailor dashboard. So you are able to access this dashboard when you are successfully logging. Without logging, you are not able to access it. Okay. Like here, as I told you, if you go to that logout again, and after that logout, if you want to access that dashboard, then that will be displayed as a please logging fast. Okay, you have to do you have to log in fast. So that means you have to put your appropriate name as a sailor, a sailor one at red gmail.com that I have created as a Udemy one, two, three, four, five. Now if you log in, then that will be successfully you are able to access our this sailor dashboard. Okay, which is totally fine. How can I protect these things with using that middleware? I will show you that things with the live example. And when you click as this logout, then that will be successfully written redirect and also it will be display as a sailor logout successfully. Okay, so there is a three authentication. One is for the user, one is for the admin and also another is for the sailor. I hope friend this section will help you a lot. So that is so many students ask me about it for the reasons I develop this section and I hope you like it very much. So that will be very easy. No complicated things. Everything is step by step. I will show you with the live example. So if you're ready, let's get started.